Professor Stephen Shaw once said, if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. So my question to you, what actually is autism? The National Autistic Society characterized autism as a lifelong developmental disability which affects how people communicate and interact with the world. 13 words. How can 13 words define a disability that affects over 75 million people across the globe? It can't. Those 13 words are meaningless because autism affects so many different people from so many different backgrounds in so many different ways. Two years ago, my young brother was diagnosed with autism. Well, as a family, it's something we've been expecting for a long time. It almost came as a shock when the official diagnosis came through. Two years later, he lives like any other child. He has friends, he goes to a mainstream school, he's loving, he's funny, but most importantly, he's adored by his family, especially myself, the majority of the time. Yet there's one thing that separates him, a rare gift. A rare gift that he shares with 1% of the British population. 700,000 people across this country live with autism. They live as you or I or anybody else does. Let me give you three names. Wentworth Miller, Albert Einstein, Elon Musk. Wentworth Miller plays Michael Schofield in TV series Prison Break. Albert Einstein, famous German physicist who won the Nobel Peace Prize for Physics in 1921. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and the richest man in the world with a net worth of 260 billion pounds. Three names that seemingly have nothing in common. Yet the string that links these three people together is autism. As proven by those three names, autism doesn't have to define a person. People with autism are like anyone else. They define themselves through hard work and individuality.